is Sunday morning, let's see, 2nd of October, 2022, and we're out in my garage. Um, I have a little bit of an issue, so uh, I'm leaving for church soon. I just got to go change clothes, but let me show you what's going on behind me. This is my garage. Definitely needs more organization, but let's just go in here. And here's my little my little room. This is mostly like uh, Christmas storage and stuff like that. But this is my hot water heater. Y'all, this thing do, does not work anymore. <laughs> so, um, my son-in-law is coming out today after church to see if it can be fixed or if it just needs replacing. Y'all, I think it needs replacing. This is original to the house. And the house was built in 05. And when I do a search, it says, um, Google says that hot water, hot, hot water, y'all, that's redundant. It is a water heater. <laughs> Not a hot water heater. It is a water heater. So Google says that a water heater lasts 8 to 12 years. And y'all, 17 years. Um, I think I've probably gotten the good out of this thing. So 17 years for this sucker. And, uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to run to town and pick up a water heater so that he can replace it. But he's going to come out and look to make sure before we go and buy one. Because, y'all, they're right at, they're, they're like $500. I mean, holy crap, right? <laughs> so, um, my son-in-law is going to come out and look at this to make sure that it's not, you know, something else. But I'm pretty sure, you know. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to buy a new one. And, but, you know, it's better for him to come out and look because uh, about $500 for a new one. I mean, really? Good grief. But, you know, it, um, taking a cold bath or cold shower is not that much fun. And um, it's not too bad right now because it's not been real cold. But uh, winter's coming. <laughs> so... Uh, we'll just see what happens. Pretty sure we'll be replacing this sucker. Okay, so I'm back home from church, and I've been thinking for a little while, and so the symptom of the water, the hot water, just the hot water, it was fine yesterday morning, and then yesterday afternoon, it came out full force and then slowed down to a trickle, and that's what it's still doing, and I think that's just... The cold water left in the pipe from the last time the faucet was cut on is pushing out and then the the hot water comes out and slows down to a trickle so i'm thinking there's sediment in the bottom of the hot water heater water heater you don't heat hot water but y'all it's the south we just call it hot water heater and i guess i'll get over it or not i don't know so let me show you what I've done. Okay, we're out here in the garage, and uh, you know, I had this brand new hose. I was gonna hook it up, but um, it has fancy ends, and I need a little cheap, crappy hose. So I brought the one from the backyard, and I've hooked it up. I've turned this, turned this so it will drain, and did not cut the water off because I'm so what I'm trying to do is flush because I'm pretty sure there's sediment down in the bottom of this. And it, um, this was not here when I first turned this knob. This, um, just a little bit dripped out of the hose, but then it stopped. So it's not dripping down here at all. That's just from the hose. So I'm going to let this drain for a little while and see if, um, but I do not have the water cut off to the water heater because I want, I'm trying to flush it a little bit, right? So, uh. The water's still on, but I did cut the power to it, so there is, it's not heating. It's just the, the power to the water heater's off. So let me show you the other end. Okay, so you see it's just coming out in a little trickle. So I think I'm going to continue to, um, this has been going for, I don't know, like 10 minutes or so. I'm going to let it run for at least another, I don't know, maybe 20 I want to. I want to try to get. You know, see if I can get some sediment out of there. I don't. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell with it draining on the ground, but I don't want it draining into anywhere else. But I'm just going to let this go for a little while and see what we come up with. Okay, guys. Looks like I got it fixed. 
it was coming out at barely a trickle and now it's coming out full force so it broke loose whatever sediment was in there and so i'm gonna turn this off at the bottom of the water heater and cut the uh cut the breaker back on okay hot water is back at full force in the kitchen sink and elsewhere so um i flipped the breaker gonna let it heat back up and we'll see how everything works okay well apparently that has fixed what i did has fixed the whole the water heater for the time being right um so i i put the hose in i drained it off a little bit y'all it was barely coming out as a trickle and what you know what first alerted me to the hot water issue was it just wasn't coming out of the faucet any faucet i mean it would start out strong but then you you know it's like the last time you used the cold water that's what it was coming out and then when it would get to the hot water it was just a barely a trickle so um i came that close to buying a new water heater but i said let me attempt to drain it out because it's probably got sed sediment in the bottom of it figured that's what it had to be um this water heater is original to the house and my house is 17 years old so I know it's on its last leg and I thought well I just need to replace it but I thought well maybe I can limp through for a few more weeks and replace the water heater when it's not you know like when I don't have to do it like now you know but so it's back to working i've got full pressure back on my hot water and the the hot water is heating which it was never not heating it i always had hot water it was just no hot water was coming out of the water heater so that tells me something was out there in there and you know i just had that hose laying on the grass so i'm sure something broke loose and came out that hose because it was barely a trickle and then all of a sudden it was gushing you know i mean i just left it trickling and went back in the house and did other stuff and came out and it was gushing so i was i was excited but it everything seems to be working now and i'm just it's going to be at the top of my priority saving for a new water heater so um yeah that's this weekend's little vlog about um what to do when your water heater messes up you know you just you know and that's the that's one of the wonderful things about youtube you can get on there and search anything anything search anything so um you know it helped me fix my hot water heater water heater i can't y'all i can't help it i'm we're southern that's what we say but um yeah we'll 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 just start start throwing money at a savings fund for a new heater and um I, at least i know how much they cost they're right around 500 dollars, and that's just to buy the dang thing that's not to get it installed or anything but um i know what i gotta save and hopefully we can get that thing replaced in the very near future because um i don't want to be I mean, I was looking at possibly no hot water at all this week, and now we've got it back, so now we're just going to start saving money to the heater. So, that's it for this little uh, home improvement vlog, right? Or maybe it's more of a home maintenance, because I didn't improve anything. I just kind of maintained what I had, and yeah, we're just going to start saving money. So, uh, see y'all later. Bye.